When some of us realize how sinful we are, we wish we could hide our sins from the Lord God. Well, hello friends. Welcome to Journey Through the Bible. Today's scripture is in the book of Acts, chapter 22, verses 17 through 21. Let me read it for you. Here's what the Bible says. Later, I returned to Jerusalem. Remember, Paul is speaking. I was praying in the temple and I saw a vision. I saw the Lord saying to me, hurry up leave Jerusalem now. The people here will not accept the truth about me. But I said, Lord, they know that in every synagogue, I put the believers in jail and beat them. They also know that I was there when Stephen, your witness, was killed. I stood there and agreed that they should kill him. I even held the coats of the men who were killing him. But the Lord said to me, Leave now. I will send you far away to the non-Jewish people. So my friend, I want you to ask yourself what would have happened if Saul had believed to his doubt. What would have happened with the famous preacher that you know today as Paul the Apostle if when the Lord called him to preach the gospel, he would have believed the, the lies of the devil who was telling him that he wasn't even uh, uh, worthy of preaching the word. After all, he was an assassin, if you would. He was somebody who, who planned uh, taking those believers who were innocent, taking them to jail, and even consenting to the plot of killing Stephen the martyr. I praise God that in his powerful will and in his loving will, he decided to forgive Saul and give him a chance to preach the gospel. And just like Paul, the Lord knows that I'm a sinner and he still loves me. The Lord, I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the screen right now. The Lord knows me, but he loves me. The Lord knew the sins of Paul, but he loved Saul anyway. The Lord knows your sins and he loves you anyway. The Lord knows my sins, yet he loves me anyway. And I'll tell you more. The Lord knows you and he still sends you. To the, to the gospel ministry. He, he knows your failures. He knows your sins. But he still wants you to be a preacher like Saul. And I want to challenge you today to not to believe the lies of the devil. And just trust in God that he is forgiving you. And he's going to give you the victory over sin and after all he's gonna give you a chance to become a great preacher somebody who will introduce so many to the truth of Jesus Christ maybe I'm not talking to someone who's able to record YouTube videos out there or stand in front of a, a pulpit and start preaching in front of everybody at church I don't know I'm not meaning that you will necessarily have to do that but what I'm saying is that whatever the Lord has called you to do you are able to do in spite of your failures in spite of your mistakes in spite of your sins I am a sinner and the Lord loves me I am a sinner the lost the Lord knows me and loves me the Lord knows me and uses me the Lord knows me and sends me may God do that with you is my prayer for you as well